At Cannon, as of now, Multnomah County does not plan to open cooling centers and shelters this week, but that could change as county officials continue to monitor the weather. Meanwhile, the Joint Office of Homeless Services distributed water and gear to people living on the streets, and doctors say everyone is susceptible to extreme heat. I see young, healthy people who are sick from heat all the time in urgent care. Over the next few days, the National Weather Service says temperatures could near 100 degrees in the Willamette Valley. Dr. Ann Toledo says it's important to stay in shady areas, drink water, and limit outdoor activities. The longer extreme weather hangs around, the worse the effects. When you have multiple days in a row, it has an additive effect of getting worse and worse for people and their health. Some residents say they're already stocking up supplies. Make sure that I have enough water going into the week. Max Early says he plans to crank up the AC and stay indoors. Others are notching preparations up a level. I keep plenty of water, bottled water on hand. Uh, I also have a swimming pool, so that's a bit of a cheat and get everybody out there. But Toledo says severe heat is becoming a bigger issue due to climate change. We see disasters like major wildfires, and that has a lot of implications, both direct and indirect on people's health. Young children and the elderly are the most affected. People with lung and heart problems are also at high risk. Those with asthma may have more difficulty breathing. What you do see are a lot of dehydrated people, a lot of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Toledo says if you're outside, make sure to wear a hat and lightweight long sleeves to protect your skin from the sun. If you don't have an air conditioner, she says you should try to visit someone close to you with cooling in their home.